A scary day in the city of Portland began just before 9 this morning with an email sent to the Portland Press Herald saying time for more police to die and multiple people would shoot and kill as many police officers as they can. Portland Police Chief Michael Soschuk said in a press conference a series of emails, then a series of tweets threatened the lives of police officers and claiming the Cumberland County garage was filled with explosives, booby traps and assault weapons. We took that uh, threat incredibly serious. He credits partnerships with agencies like state police, the FBI and Homeland Security who assisted in the investigation today that led authorities to 28-year-old Espen Brungot of Norway. And because of that, uh, we went from uh, really an unknown email and uh, tweet this morning to four hours later having somebody in custody. The chief said no explosives or weapons were found when the Norwegian tourist who was traveling with family was arrested on federal charges for transmitting threatening communication. It does appear like he was fixated on, uh, on really the, the news around the country uh, and certainly uh, in the state of Maine as well. The chief says the threats made directly at police headquarters and the members of it drove them that much harder to find who was behind this and bring them into custody. Everybody is walking on that razor's edge when you have very specific and violent threats uh, pointed specifically at our police department. While there are pieces of this investigation that remain unknown, like where the chilling emails originated, Chief Soschuk says they believe he was acting alone. So I can uh, safely say that the city of Portland is, is safe tonight. And the chief also said that he has spoken with his team in the past about how, although it seems like something like this can't happen in Maine, threats like this can happen in our own backyard. And today was proof of that. Live in Portland tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.